My name is Anthony Oskang and I'm a painter. I live here in LA. i um, been living here since 1980. And uh, I do a kind of artwork that's called Pop Surrealism or Lowbrow. And my influences are basically outside of the art world. I tend to be more interested in surf culture, skate culture, you know, rock and roll. I grew up influenced by hot rods and, and speed culture like that. I want to make a painting that actually is going to try and mean something that in 50 years is still going to be valid. And I don't think I would have felt that way if I hadn't been impressed with like the, the, uh, the weight and the cultural value of, of great pieces of art. I try and do art that's, that's memorable, it's in your face. And in order to do that, sometimes one has to be offensive. Hey, I'm sorry if, if I offended somebody, but they're going to remember me. When I start a work of art, I generally don't have any idea what I'm going to do. I start with the characters. Whatever the pose is that this character is involved in sort of dictates the rest of the painting. I draw on a piece of paper with a number two pencil, scan it into the computer. I use Adobe Photoshop, which I think is the most important um, innovation in the art since the invention of oil paint. So I will do different effects to the drawings, tweak them, stretch them, or fix them. If I do draw something wrong, I can fix them. And so Photoshop is a really important stage. So once I have the drawing done perfectly, then I start putting it in different backgrounds and trying that out and seeing where they're going to go and what's going to happen. I uh, get the drawing all done together, uh, get the final graphic image of what's happening, and I print it out and I use an opaque projector and I project the image onto the canvas, take a pencil, draw it out on the canvas and then paint it. You can get great ideas across in a really funny way. That's what comedy is about. People like Lenny Bruce and Andrew Dice Clay could make these incredible observations on society, but get them across in a really hilarious way. So, yeah, I like my work to be sort of an antidote to the problems that people have. And for that reason, I, I do definitely make work that has a funny angle to it. These are my sketchbooks that I've been keeping for probably about 30 years. This one has little, little gigaws and stuff all over it. This is when I really considered them to be individual works of art on their own. They're sort of a personal encyclopedia and a little book within the book. This painting is a painting I've done that's uh, been seen by the most people. This was uh, for the album Congratulations by the band MGMT. And they actually commissioned me to do this painting. The most important thing for me is that I feel a, a work of art needs to be required by the cosmos, right? It needs to happen, it needs to be there. And when a painting sells immediately, I know that it needed to happen, that it was required that this painting you know, be made, either for just the, the nature of this, the psychic nature of, of what's going on or that person in particular who ended up owning it. So that's really satisfying to me when I went, because to sale to me means that, yeah, this thing had to happen and I'm glad I was able to do it.